<clears throat> Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today is day 97 as a beekeeper. I gave the bees a week off last week. I did not open the hive, I didn't inspect anything, and that's why you didn't see a video. But today is a beautiful day, it's nice and calm. The temperature has gone down quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, and we're back down to kind of normal, sort of late summer temperatures now. And we've had a little rain. Things are, are looking a little bit green here, which is nice. Today's gonna be a kind of a quick inspection. I'm gonna check and see if they're building any comb in the top super. I'm gonna take the top brood box off and look at the bottom brood box and see what they're doing in there. Last time I was in there, they had uh, a lot of kind of almost empty frames. There, were, there was comb, but there was, there was very little brood and no honey store down there. So I just wanna see what's going on down in the first brood box. There is a lot of wildflowers happening right now. The goldenrod is out. There's a, late, a lot of late flowers out right now. And I've been watching a lot of pollen go into the hive. So I wanna see what that looks like. So other exciting news, I have a friend coming down from Canada who is a real live professional beekeeper. And he has been giving me a lot of help and support over the phone over the last few months. But he's going to be here and we're gonna open up the hive together and do a full deep inspection and, and really kind of get into the hive and do things that I probably haven't done yet that I probably should have done. But uh, stay tuned for that. It's coming up midweek next week. That'll be the next video after this one. And uh, that's very exciting. So let's get into the inspection today. First, let me put on my veil. So let me, oh, there it is. Nichols. Let's see what's going on in here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, no comb at all. This is very heavy. All right, let's see what's going on in the bottom. All right, I see drone comb, which is kind of weird, I think. There's definitely larva in there. It's very lightweight. A lot of larva, a lot of brood. I see a mite. I see a Varroa mite. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but I see one on the back of a bee. It's my first one. Just one. All right, that's one. Oh, there's the queen right there. 
Queen's on this frame. Hello, Queen. I'm going to close this side up. Didn't expect the queen on the bottom. All right, I saw a Veromite on 1B. Oh, bees, cover's going down. All right, so just a quick inspection today. Uh, still no comb in the upper medium box. I didn't even open up the top brood box because it's just super heavy. It's really dense with comb and honey. Got to the bottom box and I found the queen, found a lot of larva and a lot of brood, and I saw a varroa mite on the bee. So one mite visual uh, in 97 days. So I guess this is the season when varroa is uh, starting to come out. It's a little more prevalent. So I'm going to get advice on what to do about that coming up very soon. And stick around. We do have a very special guest coming next week. My, my good friend and, and expert professional beekeeper. Expert professional. He's an expert professional. We'll be here and we're going to really dig into this hive. We're going to talk about bees. We'll probably do a little Q&A and uh, go over a, a lot of stuff. It's going to be a nice, long, geeky video. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and have a great night.